Today we'll be unboxing the Sans Digital Tower Raid TR4M and we've got the, uh, the B model, the black model, so it's available in both colors. So this is actually for the cameraman's video editing station because he's run out of space and he needs a nice fast solution for editing videos. So let's have a look at the accessory package to start. We've got an eSATA cable. And we've got, uh, let's see, let's go here, we've got, okay, that's a power cord, just a standard PC power cord. Then we have thumb screws for installing up to four hard drives, so you can see there's only two screws per drive, so we'll have to have a look at the mounting system in a minute. And then a PCI Express 1X eSATA card, which we won't actually be using because the cameraman does his editing on a laptop. So there's your quick installation guide, uh, technical support, and what appears to be a driver CD. So now, Let's get into the actual TR4M unit itself. It's uh, pretty reasonably sized for a four bay enclosure. And let's just get the packaging off here. So, well, this is kind of nice looking. Okay, so basically we've got a shiny plastic finish, both on the front and on all sides. So I'll get you to have a look there, hopefully. That's pretty good. So you can see at the back, we've got an 80 millimeter exhaust fan. You've got your eSATA interface. You've got a switch here to switch between 115 volt or 230 volt. So make sure you've got the right one enabled before you power this baby up. There's your power input and then an on and off switch. On the other side, you've got some more ventilation holes. So that's gonna draw air across your hard drives and then out the back of the unit. And then let's have a look at the front here. So there's your activity LEDs for your four hard drives. There's your host activity LED, your power LED. And then let's open this baby up. Nope, sorry. <laughs> so there you go. You slide the drives in one by one. And then there is a back plane on the back of the unit itself, on the inside. And let's actually just open this up so that we can demo a little bit better here. So it's three thumb screws on the back and they're a little bit tight so I'm going to use my screwdriver to start them here. There we go. Ah. And let's take off the cover and then we can see the very inner workings themselves. Okay, let's slide this back. Oh, that's pretty easy. Okay, so there you go. So all you do is slide the hard drive in. Okay, so we've got a WD black. Slide it in from the front. You can see it engages with the back plane, right about there. And then you use two of the included thumb screws, which I've gone and put somewhere else, to secure the drive on both sides at the front. Actually, it's pretty straightforward. It'd be nice to see hot swap, but for the price, you can't really complain. Uh, put it there. Anyway, so thank you for checking out my blog on the Sands Digital Tower Raid TR4MB.